We have covered Bitcoin as a payments network, insurance, hard money, and an open asset you can truly own. While not financial advice, today's class is going to be on my top three reasons Bitcoin is a powerful investment opportunity. Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to use it for anything else other than as an investment opportunity. I mean, it's going to diversify my portfolio and hopefully buy me a sweet car. Yes, and Bitcoin as an investment is probably its weakest use case. But with all the other use cases that we've covered in past lessons, you can reasonably expect the use of the network as a whole to grow. And as more and more people use the Bitcoin network, it becomes more valuable. And that means Bitcoin rises in price. Hmm. So that adds another use case for it right there. Even if you don't use it for its intended purpose, Bitcoin can still help balance out portfolios since it's fairly uncorrelated to other financial assets like stocks and bonds. Yes, and this gives it at least a small place in anyone's portfolio. See, anybody who believes in Bitcoin fully believes that it's going to be worth over $1 million per Bitcoin by the end of the decade. And some people think a lot more like $5 million. Wait, Bitcoin's only worth $30,000 right now. Yes, and while it's no guarantee that it's going to hit those price targets, it is actually quite possible given the massive line of use cases Bitcoin has, the current adoption rate, and its absolute scarcity. This is why it's such a powerful investment. See, you can only have 1% or 2% of it in your portfolio, and if it does hit the millions, great, you're going to do quite well. Which is one reason Greg Foss says the wrong amount of Bitcoin to own is zero. And that's small enough that if it would somehow go to zero, you wouldn't lose out on very much. Exactly, and it's very unlikely that Bitcoin becomes worthless. Now, maybe in a future lesson we'll cover you know, why it's much more likely to reach the millions than it is zero. Yeah, but I only have $10 left each week. I can't really buy a whole Bitcoin with that. Well, that's one of Bitcoin's best use cases as an investment. It is super easy to just start buying a couple dollars worth at a time. Really? So I can start with my $10 then? Absolutely. And while I'm not an expert on every place to buy Bitcoin, I believe two of the easiest places to set up an account and just get started is either Cash App or Strike. Yeah, but I don't know how to use either of those. Well, next class, we'll go through a tutorial and I'll show you how to set up your first account and actually buy some Bitcoin. In the meantime, though, make sure you do your extra credit and watch this video on the end screen.